Well, my video about how I've never had a girlfriend before really started blowing up on YouTube. It got tens of thousands of views really fast, and I tripled the amount of subscribers I had. And right as it was about to really blow up, I deleted the video. Pretty fucked up, huh? Hey nobodies, it's me here once again, here with my co-host Mr. Nobody. Uh, anyway, yes, as I said earlier, I deleted my video about never having had a girlfriend before, right when it was really starting to blow up, and then I re-uploaded the next day. So why would I delete my video right when it was getting all of these views and all of this attention? You know, I could have probably had over a thousand subscribers right now, maybe even more. Well, See, the answer is very simple. It's because I actually don't want to be popular here on YouTube. I want to have a small channel. And uh, honestly, right now I've got like 581 subscribers. I'm happy with that. I honestly don't need nor do I want anymore. I'm happy with where I'm at now. You see, the thing is, uh, a lot of people don't realize is that you know, when you have a bigger channel, it's cool, you know, being viewed and stuff, but you know, the bigger your channel gets, the more you're going to have to deal with trolls and assholes and weirdos, and I just don't want to deal with that. On my old channel that I had before this, you know, that I had a lot more subscribers on, I had to deal with some trolls and creepy people who were borderline stalking me, and I just, I just really don't want to deal with that. So far, I really only had to deal with one annoying asshole since uh, since my video kind of blew up. There was this guy who kept posting all of this condescending advice on my on my videos, telling me that uh, I should change my name, that I should get rid of Mister Nobody, and that you know he doesn't like my pres my presentation, he doesn't like my appearance, just all this crappy condescending advice. He wanted me to change my name to the thirty five year old virgin. What an original idea. So I I ignored his advice and then he started posting all these really bitchy comments on my videos and you know trying to get people to not watch my videos and stuff. It's like, wow, well, I guess I get to deal with this again. So anyway, uh, another reason why I, I don't want to get real big on YouTube is because, as I said before, I have a lot of friends who are YouTubers. And some of these friends are fairly well known. You know, they've got like tens of thousands of subscribers. My friends who have, you know, these good sized tens of thousands subbed audiences, they've had to deal with some real horrible shit from asshole trolls online who want to fuck with them. Like one of my friends, someone found his address and posted this fake Craigslist ad saying that he was giving away free video games at his house. So my friend had all of these people coming to his house. And he showed me a video. There was like a big, long convoy of cars, dozens and dozens of cars, waiting at his house hoping to get these free video games. So he would have to explain to these people that he wasn't giving away free video games, and they'd get pissed off at him, like it's his fault. And then uh, another one of my friends, uh, he had videos of himself jacking off posted all over the internet. And another one of my friends, who was an indie wrestler, uh, someone called the company that he wrestles for and basically told them that he was a pedophile. So him and his girlfriend, who also wrestles for this company, had to go through all this shit and basically prove that he wasn't a pedophile. So when I look at what my popular YouTube friends have had to go through, I mean, just getting on that level just isn't something I want or aspire to do. And another reason why I don't want to blow up real big here on YouTube is because... Um, well, I have a, I have a past on this site. Like I said, I had a channel before this, and it got fairly decent size, a little under 2,000 subscribers, like I said before, which even at the time wasn't huge, but it was decent sized, and I, I was big enough to where I was starting to get noticed, and I was getting noticed by bigger YouTubers. And when I say bigger YouTubers, it's probably nobody you've ever heard of, because like 99% of the bigger YouTubers pre-2010 are like completely irrelevant now. Except for maybe like Smosh or Philip DeFranco. But those are the rare exceptions. So anyway, these bigger YouTubers were commenting on my videos and stuff. I would comment on their videos and we'd have a little bit of back and forth. 
And uh, then these bigger YouTubers started inviting me into Skype calls. And I would meet other YouTubers. And I became part of this big online YouTube friend circle. We were all about the same age, late teens, early 20s. And as I said before, we were all YouTubers. And uh, we would like appear in each other's videos and whatnot. And uh, it was just really cool for me because for the first time in my life, I had like a circle of friends that I could call my own. That being said, that uh, that YouTube friend circle was a dumpster fire. It was basically a big online high school clique. There was constant drama and rumor milling and he said, she said bullshit and gossip. And I'm ashamed to say that I did play a role in that and it's not something I'm proud of. And then uh, in 2009, a bunch of us went on this big trip to New York City together. And we found out the hard way on that trip that a lot of us don't really like each other that much. It's a little bit of a different game when you meet up in person. So after that, there was even more drama and bullshit and chaos. And, and a, lot of, uh, a lot of this drama and bullshit spilled out online. There was a lot of like drama videos within my old friend's circle. And I'm ashamed to say that I also participated in that as well. And uh, I'm ashamed to say that there's a... Some of that stuff still out there. There are entire like archive channels that archive me and my friends' old drama videos. And I hope you never find it because it's something I'm extremely ashamed of. So yeah, you know, I just want to get away from all that. It's some, I, it embarrasses me and I wish I never participated. Because uh, believe it or not, there's still some people from that toxic online friend circle that I was part of who just can't let this shit go. And they want to carry on about old shit from like 15 years ago like it happened yesterday. They want to rumor mill and try and, you know, cause drama within what's left of this friend circle. Because most of us don't even talk to each other anymore. In fact, most of us aren't even on YouTube anymore. But yeah, I mean, there are people out there who just can't let that period of time go. Who, if they find this channel, they are going to be, uh, like I said before, they're going to be on this channel like a fat kid on a zebra cake. Because these people have no idea about the stuff I'm talking about in this video. If they, go, if they go on this channel and see the videos of me like talking about being a virgin and never having a girlfriend and stuff, oh my gosh, they are going to have a freaking field day. And uh, it's just sad that you know some people, they just can't let that old drama go. Like, I visited a friend of mine, and uh, this was about a year and a half ago. It was right after I started this channel. And this friend of mine had recently become friends with this drama YouTuber. And apparently this drama YouTuber really wanted to meet me. So I went to visit my friend and he was like, oh dude, this drama YouTuber, he really wants to meet you. He really wants to meet you. And I'm like, I don't know, man. He's like, no, no, he's a big fan of yours. It'll be cool. He wants to meet you. I'll bring him up on Discord. And I'm like, oh, okay, fine. I'll be a good sport. So my friend dials up this drama YouTuber on Discord and as soon as he uh, gets into the Discord call, this guy just starts bombarding me with all these really uncomfortable questions about stupid internet drama that I had gotten into several years prior. And I'm just sitting there thinking, really? I'm still talking about this? In 2022, I believe it was? What am I, what, why? What is the point of this? This is stupid. And then it gets worse because my friend pulled up some videos that this drama YouTuber had made. It was of him doing commentary on some of my old drama videos. And I was absolutely mortified because I had no idea that shit was still out there. And now it's getting even more attention because it's on this drama YouTuber's channel. You know, and, and I made these videos like when I was still going through you know, that big dark phase where I was drinking a lot and gaining all that weight. So yeah, that was real fun revisiting that period of my life. And oh my gosh, I just, be careful what you post online. If you're someone who has a small channel and you're frustrated with not having a big subscriber base, don't feel bad because, you know, grass is always greener. And, uh, you know, I've seen the other side of the coin and I've experienced it. And uh, yeah, there's a dark side of that. So, you know, it, it might be a better thing that you're small. Anyway, that's all I got to say in this video. I'll see all you nobodies later.